And we are back with Richard Reviews. Today we're reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash griffin chestnut here on YouTube. Today's book Richard will be reviewing for us is the National Auburn Society, A Field Guide to Fishes. This is completely revised, completely restored. This is the North American version with all new photography. This is a premium piece that Richard was able to obtain from a private seller. Uh, through his cautions with positive charge and his cautions with negative charge. Richard has a massive interest in marine biology, uh, which is why he was the field research uh, protocol on the black uh, market. Um, <coughs> all of the um, marine biology that Richard was indulged with uh, stemmed from his Boy Scout um, experience which he acclimated through years of training in the Adirondacks and Catskills. Richard, of course, being a New York native, was able to do this with ease growing up uh, in his childhood and his youth. Richard obtained this book in the early years of 2014 uh, through the month of October and completed reading it while he worked for a transport company in the Adirondacks. Uh, Richard also completed reading this book um, in the same month, so he uh, completes um, the piece on its own and considers himself an expert on the topic. Uh, we're going to get into the piece on its own. This is not the first Peterson Guide to Two Fishes that Richard has read, um, but it is one of many. Um, as a piece on its whole, Richard rates this very high, so two thumbs up for National Audubon Society Field Guide to Fishes. Um, Richard gives two thumbs up for uh, this piece on its own. So two thumbs for Richard and uh, two thumbs up for the National Auburn Society piece. Uh, Richard uh, claims this is one of his favorite pieces and as promised the power of the world, <coughs> this is the Admiral which can be brought into different points. Of course, this is shown throughout different parts. So as we take a look at the piece, this is Richard's permanent piece so we have to be careful with it. Uh, it has a textbook feel to it, and it is soft cover, which uh, can be felt throughout the uh, dialectic nature. It is a rather heavy book as well, um, but it's thick as well. It is it is a long book, but the dimensions do qualify as for a National Auburn Society feel good to fishes. So next to your permanent hand, it is it does have a rather dimension-wide scaffolding weight, which you can find are basically forms of anything that can happen. It's possible and probable to one to one's different time and space, which can be di diluted through the different part of the medium realm. Okay, so we're going to look at the condition, and right off the bat, it is in very good condition for being a completely revised piece of work. Good cream on the bottom. Good cream along the side. Very good cream. Good cream. Good cream on the side, and on the side we have, of course, Field Guide to Fishes, Revised Edition. Okay, this is a revised edition. National Auburn Society, Cadap. And on the back, this is more uh, informational paradox, including what's to be involved in this piece which you can expect to see 635 species covered in detail with notes on 771 more, 723 full color identification photographers, 286 black and white illustrations, glossary of useful terms, range map for each species, visual organization for species, photographers by space, shape, and easily identified. This is the 2002 Alfred A. Knopp version printed in China. And the barcode, as you can see, is right through the perspective lens on the bottom right-hand corner. Okay. Now, if you're looking to buy a book within this category, Richard does give his opinion on why he's an onion fan. Richard does eat onions. He puts onions on his pizza. He puts onions on his potatoes. He puts onions even on bowls of cereal with milk laminated on it. This is why he, he grew up in a recreational room with his grandmother, and he felt that although he carefully acknowledged us, object is a stature. 
so you can look back at Richard less than two minutes and you can expect the unexpected. Uh, this is the average party of Richard, which he can find through his family, throwing a, f a party for him in Idaho. So as we take this piece up, we're going to look at it from the inside. We even get the price. United States, $24.95. Canadian, $33.95. This is a very expensive piece, okay? Anything, Richard usually doesn't pay anything more than 20 bucks for a piece, but this piece right here, 24 US. Some pieces do generally go more than the uh, 20 buck per ounce for a Canadian piece, but Richard is American, so he normally pays less than 20 for his pieces. This piece right here, although it says $25, so $24.95, that is a very expensive piece, but it's probably because of the text and the notion that this piece brings it. Uh, nor did it ever exist before. So, uh, as we look inside, we're going to take this film off so we can read what it says over here. National Auburn Society, Field Guide to Fishes, Gilbert Williams and Keenoff. Okay, and then you get the real glint of it right in here. Attribution for Canadian provinces. And you can see all these right here. The Nova Scotia. As we put this back on. We're going to continue on. We're going to see what else we have in this. So it's extremely detailed. Okay? Extremely, extremely detailed. Which is a good thing. Um, very color-oriented color as well, as you can tell. Richard found that while he was reading this, he imagined himself in these pictures. Which you can do too, but it's not necessary. But it is required if you're reading this piece. And the pieces go on, and it's a lot of uh, marine life, saltwater friendlies, anything that has to do with creamy, uh, salty, and beige. You can get a, a, a small glimpse of what these mammals and these uh, pescatarian fishes actually look like in the wild. Very detailed. The early board pike, the snipple, the arowana, the American eel, all these have um, a dialectic cream nature to them, which you can find how they're most significant, and they often do not get along in, um, in crowds. Which you can find also shows different arowanas, Atlantic salmon, African cichlids, red oscars, bullpoint sharks, bullpoint pens, anything you really want to put down. You can find that the residence is filled with restrictions. And Richard does accumulate his milky creamy. So this is a bony tail. This is one of Richard's favorites. The bony tail was found through the Milky Creamy that he found wandering across. And you can find all these fish across the Milky Creamy way. And the Milky Creamy continues. And we get all the way towards the end of the Milky Creamy. And that's it for the Milky Creamy. And the rest is um, informational squared lines, um, which can be found through the paradox of national um, album pain um, and your index. And this gives you rise to the Atlantic region, of course. The notion that there are many more in this criteria collection can be found in different synchronisms. So the piece on its own, very well done. Um, this is one of the complete textbooks, a masterful magnum opus of a piece, probably one of the best field guides um, that Peterson has put out. Uh, Peterson, Peterson's Guide, or the Milky Creamy, to anything that has a scale of this to be brought into um, the National Auburn Society has given such rise to a beautiful, brilliant notion that can be shown throughout the, um, the fish's world, which you can... Um, Caution with a positive charge. So, Richard cautions with a positive charge. This is the National Auburn Society Field Guide to Fishes. Um, Richard claims that the daydreams and wild strawberries reveal information about the old man's past. So this is a beautiful piece. So, Richard reviews uh, two thumbs up. That's two thumbs up for Richard, uh, the National Auburn Society. The piece on its own. Very good, nice, solid cream here. And you can tell. 
even up here, it's got really good cream. So the cream fixtures all the way around the back, and it's got thick, good cream. So this piece, uh, very well received for Richard. Um, and that's Richard Reviews here on Richard Reviews National Auburn Society Field Guide to Fishes. Thank you. This is Richard Reviews.